It's been um, really fascinating to see how this field of uh, smoldering myeloma and how our approach to this particular intervening stage um, has evolved over the past few years. For the longest time, we said patients with smoldering myeloma should be just watched because there is a real danger that we could be hurting them by giving them treatments with side effects without necessarily improving their outcomes. Now, now we have actually better treatments, treatments which are highly effective with low toxicity or less side effects than what we had in the past. We also have a way to identify the patients who are likely to progress from smoldering myeloma to active myeloma, thanks to the, the IMWG risk score uh, that was developed as part of an IMF uh, initiative a few years ago. And finally, we actually have clinical trials um, that have proven that early intervention is actually uh, important or beneficial for patients with smoldering myeloma. So I think we have kind of checked all three boxes uh, in terms of being able to identify the right patient, having a potential treatment which has shown benefit.